Welcome to the show. Demo, examples, whatever you want to call it. Today we're going to be call, talking about Kafka Connect and a couple of different ways how you can run it. It will be applicable towards both Confluent Platform and standalone Apache Kafka. I think either way you'll hopefully get some value out of the different ways that you can run Kafka Connect. So this video is meant to accompany a blog post that has all the links for some of the commands I'm going to be running today, the GitHub repo where you can find some of the sample files, etc. So check that out wherever you're watching this video if you'd like to run some of these examples yourself. Also, thank you for the comment in YouTube that inspired this video. It was something along the lines of, hey, Todd, you know, you've got all these examples on your site about Kafka Connect, but you're just running them in local mode or just on a local machine. How do I run it uh, more production-like? So thank you for the question. Uh, Rahul, I believe the, the person's name was. Um, thank you, and here it goes. So we're gonna start off with Kafka Connect in standalone mode. All right, let's run Kafka Connect in standalone mode. I'm gonna go pretty quickly because all of this is documented. I'm in this directory that I've pulled from the GitHub repo, I've got a Docker Compose YAML file up and I'm gonna run Docker Compose up. No surprises there. This should start up our three broker cluster. This Compose file, by the way, is available on the GitHub repo. The links are available for it. Um, this blog post, you can clone it, you can copy it raw and paste it back in if you'd like to run it yourself. So once this fires up, I'll switch to a different terminal window. We can run Kafka Topics List just to make sure everything's okay. Bit of a sanity check. And once we get that back, we'll see we don't have any real topics that are interesting to us right now. What we would want to do is, as described, we'd copy over this existing Connect standalone properties into this local directory. Now, I've already done that to prepare for this big time TV show. So if we open this up in VI, we'll see exactly as described, we need to update the bootstrap servers to point to the one of the nodes running in this Docker Compose or Dockerized uh, cluster. And then the plugin path, we need to make sure that we have that updated for share Java Kafka because we're gonna be using the file connector source and that's where this jar file lives okay so we've got that in our local directory again this is just for the example we need to create a test file so I'm gonna do that with this fancy dancy for command and I'm gonna output it out to text so if we look at test dot text we'll see the following looks like we're getting all ready to start this up so we'll do that with bin connect standalone we'll pass in this properties file in the current directory and then we'll start up the connect file source properties file let's see what happens we should see it starting up and now if we switch to another window and take a look at the kafka topics we'll know we're in good shape when we see a new topic. And there it is, it's this connect test example. So we're looking pretty good there. Now, um, if we just run the, let's say a, 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 a console consumer, we should see our three examples coming through. And if not, we can always go back and add some let's do that let's do our fancy for command and add some to that file we can do this in a different directory I know this fonts probably pretty small but you'll just take my word for it that we're running to the test again and now we're seeing this payload coming out if we do it again we'll see we should see it again so we're rolling, we're running in standalone mode. Hopefully that helps. Now again, this can be applicable towards Confluent or standalone Apache Kafka or other distros, um, but this is just another way to run outside of some of the examples that I've shown on this site. So there we go, standalone mode. Next up, 
distributed mode. Stay tuned. Distributed mode now. Again, we'll go pretty quickly. All of this is documented. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. I stopped and restarted the Kafka cluster. You'll see that in this window here. Next, if we run Kafka topics list, we should see three topics that I created, again, documented. If we look at some recent history, you'll see these commands that I ran before starting the big time TV show. Next up, we should copy over an existing example. What I did already is I ran this copy of the example that's included in Confluent Platform, although it's also included in Apache Kafka 2. This connect distributed properties file, I called it connect distributed example properties file. And if we look at that now, you'll see very similar to the standalone example. If we search for bootstrap, we'll see that I have changed this to a port that it's actually listening to, it's mapped to. And then if we go down to plugin path, we should see um, some of the well, we don't. Um, we don't see this appropriately. So let's make this on the fly. Let's uh, make sure we have a plugin path that has user share Java in it. So now we've got this is my Confluent home, obviously, is pointing to as this directory, user share Java. So we should be good now. Let's see. We're going to run a live demo. So we've got this example properties file bootstrap and plugin path accordingly. Um, we've got a test text file left over from the previous example. We can add some more fancy for in a minute. We also created this um, example JSON file that will pass into the distributed mode um, worker, uh, the REST interface to start this back up. Now we'll do that in a sec. Let's actually start this up and do that. Um, so let's let's start this connect distributed up. Oh, let me clear this. Maybe this is easier to read. So we'll run the connect distributed script. We'll pass it in the properties file. And we should see this loading. Now I mentioned that sample file. This is also available in the link. There's a gist for it. Um, I'm showing it to you here. We can take a look at it. It's about as simple as it gets. It's the file stream source. We're going to be writing to this connect test topic. And we've got auto topic creation already rolling on this Dockerize cluster. So we're looking, I think we'll be fine there. Now once this starts up, we can run some curl commands. We can say things like, is it, it should, do we have a 200 code back when we run this curl? Example and yes, we see it here or I'll highlight it 200. So we should be ready to go We ready to go means we can paste in that JSON file Looking like this Again, all this is documented. Let's see what happens when we post to it Looking okay so far the real test will be is we can query the rest API of this distributed worker and see if we've got any running we do this local file source is running so so far so good if we run the Kafka topics we should see this connect test is now available good we're doing just fine now we could use a couple different ways Kafka cat or by default we've got this Kafka console consumer, we should start to see some things flowing through. Or if it's set to latest, we'll need to add something to it. We can do that in this for loop. If we come back, we should start to see it happening. We can start seeing more and more data coming through. And we're off. We're running in distributed mode. That's it. Hopefully you found this valuable, um, worth the time. Again, you can apply all these concepts to some of the previous tutorials. And uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement. Thanks. Have a great rest of your day.